Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boils and ghouls. Today, we're going to do a quick channel update. Uh, I think I'll make these a little more regular, you know, every Monday, an update. Uh, the plan this week, we got uh, hopefully three streams coming. Everything's sizing up good so far. I, I don't intend for that to change. All fired up because after finally getting done my 11-day straight work week at the mine, I, I've been locked up for a long time in the dark, shoveling all that salt. And, you know, I'm ready to get back to it. Uh, can't wait to play some video games, so... Just for what's up, what we got lined up this week, we're finally, finally, gonna be starting Half-Life 2 tomorrow, as of the making of this. So, Tuesday, I'm calling it the Taps from Tuesday, we're doing uh, the Half-Life 2. And the plan, if everything holds up, is to keep going with that theme. So, like, after we finish Half-Life 2, we'll move on to something like Fear and or Prey or something like that. We'll keep the shooters there, you know, eventually Doom will get on there. Um, and that'll be the Tuesday stream, okay? Wednesday, I'll be working on other projects, offline, playing some games, probably might pop up at somebody else's stream, who knows. Okay, Thursday, we're doing Unearthed on Thursday, and the first game we're going to be playing on that will be Evil West. I've been hanging on to Evil West for a while. Uh, it was an excellent looking action game, set in the Wild West, hunting some vampires, uh, kind of classic beat-em-up style. Uh, looked really good, and I did get it to, I was waiting until I upgraded my PC, which of course has since happened, and I did test it out a while back, and it did run just fine. So, we should have no issues there. Uh, as for other topics or other video games we'll be playing on Tuesdays, the plan is to go action-oriented on Tuesday. So, um, you know, follow, probably follow it up with some Devil May Cry and, uh, and some other things I've been sitting on. And uh, we'll fill in as we go there. Uh, plan for Saturdays is we're going to do Salty Saturdays. So, even though I'm working, and I get out of work Saturday morning after my double, but... Um, you know, the dog's always fired up, so it's going to be an earlier stream, about 11 o'clock Eastern Time, as opposed to the usual 2 o'clock I do the other ones. Um, Salty Saturday is going to be focused on old-school fighting games, as you're seeing here. Uh, I've been trying to get some practice, and you can see how awful it is if you played any of these games. I'm sure you're about to cringe yourself to death just watching this. I apologize. But this is a sample of what's coming up there. We're gonna, this week, we're going to be doing the original Street Fighter. Uh, I'm going to be doing my damnedest to beat it on stream. Um, and things are going to get salty. You know, you can expect some spicy language, and uh, it's not going to be a PG stream, folks. Um, at least not as far as commentary goes. <laughs> but hopefully we can all enjoy it and have some fun. I, I'm going to play through all these old school fighters I've been stocking up on. Oh, my God. Because I already had all the Street Fighters because of that set. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the Marvel vs. Capcom kind of completing the collection on that side. But I've also stocked up on my, my uh, SNK fighters. My, Fatal Furies, and King of Fighters, and Art of Fighting, and all that. I got all that stuff piled up, some Samurai Showdown, too. 
And uh, I also got the, well, I got three of the four Guilty Gear games. Uh, so you're over versions of them. They, uh, but they're, they're ready to roll too. And man, Guilty Gear's been kicking my ass. That game is fucking merciless. But it looks so awesome. I can't wait to figure out how to actually play it. You know, that's that was another topic I wanted to cover today. You know, uh, uh, Black Black King Wukong, is that what they're calling it? The the Monkey King, Black Wukong, whatever, uh, came out this week, and naturally all the streamers are all over it, and you get the usual crowd, which I just happen to be watching someone play it, and uh, and I'm not, I haven't invested in it myself because it's another Souls-like game. I'm, I'm not a, a big fan of Dark Souls. I, I did play some on the channel. Uh, the longest one I played in was Bloodborne. I got about halfway through that game, and I just kind of got bored of it, and noped out. Um, it's, it's, they're just not my kind of game. Action RPGs aren't my thing. They always seemed like those two genres to me were on opposing ends, you know? If you if you try to do a combination action RPG, it's not going to be as good as a regular action game. It's not going to be as good as a regular RPG for the qualities that make those genres unique. So, to me, I just I never saw the point or the draw on it. You know, I played a little Diablo back in the day. I wasn't that enthused with it. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, this is just Diablo in 3D, right? And, uh... And I just, I just don't like it. It's, it's the bottom line for me. The gameplay's not good. I don't, I don't mind a hard game. I like a hard game, right? And but the, the, the conflict with, and where this comes from when you're watching someone play something like Wukong, uh, you know, it's kind of how to, oh, it's not that hard. Just do this. It's that's the thing is, it's not hard. It's, it's stupid. It's badly designed, and that's what makes it tricky. You figure the trick out, and then it's easy, you know. Because the game itself isn't hard. I like hard games that are actually hard, where you have to get good, and these fighters are an ex excellent example of games where you learn how to play the game, you learn how to use the systems, you get better reflexively with it, and you, you become a better gamer. You don't become a better gamer playing Dark Souls. You don't. You, you, get, you memorize the map, you memorize the attack patterns, you get lucky once in a while, and then it's a fight against a, a mountain of hit points that can kill you in two hits. Right? That's not a fun boss fight for me, right? It's, it, and it's that that's always been my trigger with it. And especially what it really came down to is when I finally tried Sekiro. Uh, it was the last Souls-like game I played. Um, when I played Sekiro, I, I had high hopes for Sekiro because it always looked good. When you watch someone play it, it looked like it was good gameplay. And then I played it and I realized that the gameplay was not good at all. There's a, a full second input delay on all controls, right? Because it takes the animations real slow, you know, because the guy's got to move. He's got to draw his sword before he can cut anything. It's so, it's a full second, which is ridiculous. All right, for an action game, you want to move around, you want to cut stuff, you want to rely on your reflexes, your timing, but now you have to play the whole game one second in advance, which gives you one second less to react to anything because you're putting the inputs in and waiting for it to happen. And then you're continuing with the next inputs when something changes. You can't go back in time and change your inputs because you didn't know that change was going to come. So now you have to memorize that pattern along with your own pattern and play the whole game a second in advance. That's bullshit. That's bad design. All right. When I was growing up, there was a clear input delay on any controls. That was a bad design. Whether it was a controller issue, a port issue, or a design issue, that was bad. But, you know, Souls fans will tell you that's that's good. That's good. That's good. You think more tactically that way. It's like... I could say that about any bad game ever made. Oh, it's not a bad game, it's just, you just gotta get used to it, you know, it's, no, it's, it's bad, alright? These games kick my ass on a regular basis, and it's not because of any input delay, it's because I don't know how to use the fucking systems in the game, and so I get my butt kicked, and I enjoy that. When I lose in a fighting game, yeah, I get salty, but at the same time, I'm usually, I got a shit-eating grin on my face, because I'm enjoying the action, right? I don't enjoy the action a second row. It was a headache from start to finish. I hated every second in that game because the gameplay, the core gameplay was so bad. All right, and that's why I don't play Souls-like games. All right, that's why I didn't play Wukong. I wasn't interested. I'll never be interested. All right, not my thing. Get me a real action game or a real RPG. None of this half and half bullshit, right? So that's 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 my take on it, and that's why. And I and I brought that up, and I bring this up because this is these are all related to each other, right? I like challenging games. I like to play Castlevania. I'm really looking forward to digging into the Mega Man games, all right? All these people who say there's no hard games anymore, there's like 30 Mega Man games that are hard as nuts, all right, to fucking crack, just waiting, right? You, you Most people never played them, right? Play some fucking Mega Man. Play some fucking classic ghosts and goblins and shit. There's lots of great challenging games out there. 
Dark Souls isn't isn't one of them. It isn't. It's its own thing. It's not a bad thing. If you like Dark Souls, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're gonna sit there and tell me that it's a good game because there's no hand holding and it's a challenge, it's not a challenge. They say it all the time. It's a particular type of game that applies to a specific type of gamer. And if you fall into that category, congratulations, enjoy, right? It's your right as a gamer to enjoy whatever games you like to enjoy. But don't fucking come at me with this, oh, it's, it's, this is a hard game. No, it's it's not. It's bullshit, right? It's, they're, they're bad games. It's okay to like bad games. It's okay to like bad movies. You know, it's a, it's a matter of taste. It's subjective. Just don't confuse your opinion for unmitigated facts, right? That's what a lot of people do. That's where the ego comes into the play. I like this, therefore, it is a good game. No, it is a bad game that you happen to like, right? I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you the original Street Fighter was a good game, but I'm going to be playing it, right? I am. It's going to kick my ass, but I'm going to have fun, <laughs> right? That's my take on it. It's historically terrible game, but I'm still going to find it. I'm, I'm going to enjoy playing it, you know? So, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's where I fall in the whole thing of things. And also, this all plays into the project I'm working on. A new project. I'm almost done with the Mortal Kombat one. That's still going to be going in the background. Starting a secondary project. I want to do a fighting game retrospective. And that's where a lot of this stuff comes in. It's, um... The fighting game retrospective is going to cover a lot of classic fighting game elements. The idea is I want to focus on the big three. A lot of people don't, right? And, uh... And this is something, again, as... I'm a casual gamer. I've admitted from day one. But I am also a student. Of, of video games. I've, I've been informed, I've been keeping an eye on things. I didn't get into Street Fighter 2 back in the day. I picked Mortal Kombat instead. That appealed to me more as a kid. Uh, but I kept an eye on Street Fighter 2 because the, the pundits, the mainstream media, made sure I never forgot for a single second that Street Fighter 2 was a superior fighting game to Mortal Kombat. And I didn't debate it because the proof was there. They'd cite the evidence back in the day. They don't do that anymore. It's all opinion now. But back in the day, they'd tell you why Street Fighter 2 was better because it had better variety of characters, every character played different, it was more balanced, yada yada, you know, they had good reasons, so I just didn't like how the game was presented, so I waited until it got better, and it did, Street Fighter Alpha came along, and much like Street Fighter 2, they did the multiple iterations thing, so I waited, got the best version of Street Fighter Alpha 3 for my PlayStation, I enjoyed that game so much, every bit as much, if not more, than Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which is why I bought the PlayStation in the first place. So, yeah, I kept an eye on Street Fighter, and I kept playing Street Fighter games as time went on, especially with my friends, and uh, eventually I started learning about these other games, you know, because you're playing at your friend's house, all of a sudden somebody whips out some King of Fighters, and you're like, well, who are these guys? Where are they coming? These are all really interesting characters. And the more you research into SNK, the more interesting that story gets. You know, so the, the origin of the fighting game genre really is the rivalry between SNK and Capcom from back in the day. People don't don't acknowledge that. You look up these retrospectives now, they're all going to tell you it was Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. You know, in the beginning it was all Street Fighter. It was only Street Fighter. And then Mortal Kombat came along and they'll actually tell you that Mortal Kombat inspired like the different iterations of Street Fighter. I'm like, mm, I don't, you know, when you look at the dates, first of all, they didn't get Mortal Kombat in Japan until 94, I think. 93, 94. It, that was at the end of Street Fighter 2's development cycle. So that wasn't why Street Fighter 2 was developed the way it was. But, again, you look at the release dates, those SNK fighters, Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, Samurai Showdown, are all coinciding with the different releases of Street Fighter 2. Is that purely per chance? And also the fact that the people making these games for SNK used to make Street Fighter for Capcom. You know, the original Street Fighter. Those That team went on to make Fatal Fury you know, and Art of Fighting. And even the crew that initially made Street Fighter 2, as well as um, uh, Final Fight, you know, the arcade game the beat em up they went on to make Samurai Shodown. So, all these ex-Capcom employees are fueling this opposition. And it's, and they're going back and forth at each other. It's like a, a classic boxing match, you know? It's just, they go, and then they go, and then they do this. So, it's that's the approach I always took to it. And the end cap I always put on this is um, the real successor, I think, for classic fighters, uh, which is Guilty Gear. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, they'll want to make it about Tekken or, you know, this other thing. Tekken, I put in its own set, right? Tekken, I, I judge with the likes of Virtual Fighter, who did it first, and honestly, for a long time better, until they stopped making them. And with Dead or Alive, who's kind of a sleeper hit that most people don't even know is out there, right? I didn't even like Tekken. I didn't like the original Tekken trilogy at all. I still don't like it. Those games are rough, okay? They are janky as fuck. Um, 
But when Tekken Tag Tournament came along, I think Tekken started to fall into its its own pattern a lot better. It started to kind of find itself, and uh, and it got better. And it is good today. I enjoy modern Tekken games. I do. Um, but I also, you know, back in the day when it, when Tekken was still just finding itself, I I found Dead or Alive because I got to play an Xbox, and I was playing these games. I was like, damn, these are good ass fighters. This, this is like, this is leagues better than Tekken really at the time. And Tekken did improve, but. Holy shit, you know, there's a whole other set of... So there's so many different three, uh, 3D style fighting games that I think they belong really in their own category. That's is as far as comparisons go. And uh, as far as stuff like Mortal Kombat, I, I don't even count Mortal Kombat anymore. I, I always liked Mortal Kombat growing up. I don't like it what it's become at all. The past few iterations uh, have beat the dead horse for me. You know, so it's that's why I'm making this Mortal Kombat side project. This is my my send off to the series. I'm done. I'm not buying any more. That's it for me. You know, so uh, and, and Mortal Kombat was always to me it seemed like the odd one out. You know, it was more of a casual fighter and it was more uh, story oriented. I'd probably put Mortal Kombat more in a category with like anime fighters. You know, uh, like the forthcoming. Uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, or the Naruto Ultimate Ninja games, you know, it's, it's more like one of those. It's a more approachable, more casual, more story-oriented. And, um, that's where I would put Mortal Kombat. But, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to digging into these games, streaming these games. There's going to be a lot of salt. And that's really what I'm feeling, you know, coming back from this this work week I've had. Uh, I've got a lot of salt that needs to, that I need to grind away. So we're going we're gonna to get salty this week, and uh, the plan is to keep it going, keep that momentum rolling. And uh, hopefully uh, plenty of you guys will be along with me. Uh, I've made a lot of new uh, friends. We'll say, yeah, a lot of new viewers, a lot of new friends since I started playing um, Black Mesa. And I hope all these guys can still stay around and come back for some more. And, uh, and I look forward to more uh, to playing Half-Life 2. Black Mesa was a lot of fun. It's a great game. Highly recommended. And, uh, and I can't wait to dig into the next entry, even though it's still going to be a little dated. I understand this game came out, I want to say, in 2004. You know, it's an older game. But, uh, and from what I understand, Black Mesa is a little more polished. So I am going to have to adjust to that personally as I go in. But I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope to see all you guys there. I hope all you guys have been well. Uh, and, uh, you know, hanging in there, doing your thing. We all, we got to do what we got to do. We got to pay the bills. We got to take care of our own. And at the end of the day, we got to keep our heads down because, you know, shit's getting crazy out there, guys. It's getting crazy. So, you know. Uh, anyways, stay safe. Stay healthy. And I hope to see all you guys this week. Until then, this is Grim the Lord of Salt signing off. Saying stay salty.